Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. Goes for him in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Jones is five years the elder. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter. Only a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting at the Bruno Czech Republic, Yuri Denisa Pushasta! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, man. We are underway. is underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know oh, right to the target let's see if his opponent can survive i cannot believe he is still standing after taking that point Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Forward, forward. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Jones has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Jones gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. All right, single collar tie now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, head kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Very nice leg kick there by Johnny Bone. in a single collar tie. Jones gets the takedown. Could be big here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, on that punch right there. 
His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Big punch from the clinch. He's hurt. He's hurt. A big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Round two winding down. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to go out there and I want you to take him down and put him on his back. Control the fight on the ground. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of the reach. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice job by Johnny Bones there on the feet. I'm not in the prediction business, but if the opponent doesn't adjust here, this could be the beginning of the end. He's got to do something different. Because for Jones, he's not only a diverse striker, but he's a fantastic finisher. He's a guy that when he gets his opponent's hurt, he knows where to find the spot to end their night. Ooh, what a punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Takedown defense holds up. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Got the single collar tie. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. They separate. Nice kick. Oh, Jones gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook and putting it exactly where he needed to go. Nice strike. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. The right hand just misses. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped around his waist. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Big leg kick lands. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Oh, big knee there. That was a jab. What a round. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you got to wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
Are right, you ready? You ready? Let's go fight. Jones's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And he landed the right hand to the right side right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on B Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. And everything's landing with so much power. He continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh! Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, that's the the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Checks the leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. That's a big strike right there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, the key. You didn't like that left hand. and a great performance by this young man. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Back inside the octagon once again, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yuri Ganisa Koshata. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure.